Oh, Marcy got a treat. Marcy got a treat. Okay, so we are on day 10. Oh, look, Marcy. Look at it. Another crinkle ball. Ooh, what is that? You like that? Do you like that? No? What about this one from yesterday? Do you like that one, y'all? No? Again, more enamored with the birds outside than the toys. No more treats, y'all going. Okay, so we've got some of the stocking stuffers here. So for Kilo, we've got this little beanie with the little antlers on it. My friend had picked up for him, so we're adding that to his stocking. Also this little elf toy. Then he's got this happy birthday stuffy. This shirt and this Santa deal is not going in a stocking. He's going to actually wear that on Christmas. Then we got some evolved oven baked dog biscuits, peanut butter, and berry latte. Okay, so that's his stuff. Then we've got Cody's here. We've got these dog treat boppers, the mini um, peanut butter mini bones. We got him a new collar here by Pet Zone in the sage green. Got him a little beanie with the little antlers. I don't know if he will even entertain wearing that, but then this little reindeer toy. And then he's got a blue happy birthday cake. So we're celebrating Jesus' birthday with happy birthday. Then Marcy, we've got his Pet Zone uh, Go Bananas catnip toy. Then she's also got this little taco, a little hot sauce. Got her one of these, the seagrass barrel with the catnip. And then I also got her one of these on clearance at Kohl's. It's the Meow Cat Toy Pad. It's like a mat and it has different hanging things coming off of it. And a little mouse and all kinds of little stuff like that. So those are the pet stockings this year. All right, let's see if we can do this. I'm using my iPad, which I normally don't use. So we shall see if we can do this one-handed. We've got day 10 of the advent. Looks like there's some striped socks here. So oh, I'm gonna open this up. My daughter has the scissors. She's doing her gift wrapping. Here we go. Striped socks. Those are cute. Then we've got December 23rd of the Super Tarts Advent calendar. This one is Maple Lane Peanut Brittle and Tres Leches Milk Cake. Tres Leche Milk Cake. All right, let's see. Hmm. It smells like maple all the way. Maple, maple. Very good. Sweet. Very, very nice. Kilo. Show them your little Santa. Oh, Kilo Santa. Okay, so we are opening up. Gosh, is it day 10? I don't think we're on day 10 yet, but we must be. Ooh. This one, look at Kilo. You got a ball. There you go. That's the first real little tennis ball, huh? Oh, you like that? All right. 
Such a good boy, Santa Kilo. Yes. Um, such a good boy. All right, so this is my bedroom tree here. I do have a lot of my sentimental ornaments on this tree, like my crystal ornaments, ornaments that were passed down. And on this tree, I've got the buffalo check, as you can see. I've got some beaded garland. I've also got some Ray Dundoop ornaments. I've got this little angel here that was my grandmother's and some teardrops. Excuse the noise. People are just coming in and out over here. Then I've got this little teardrop ornament. Some cotton in there. And then I've got this big Mary Snowflake as the topper. I'm loving these glittery blush uh, stems from the Dollar Tree. Those are my favorite. Hey guys, I thought I would pop on and share with you a SEMO Wax Melts haul. This is actually my second time filming it, so it is not my original reaction. I apologize. <laughs> Um, anyway, she had some Clarence discounted boxes slash bags that she was selling. So I went ahead and picked one up because I've always wanted to try her wax and I've just hadn't done so. So let's get started. Okay. So the first item here is this big donut and blueberry cheesecake shake. It's very cute. It's huge. It does smell like cheesecake. Blueberry cheesecake. Um, not my favorite, but that's okay because I'm still in the process of making gift baskets. So this is going to go to somebody who will love it. Then I also got these little pumpkin shapes in pumpkin bread. And this one is a really nice pumpkin bread scent. Not too cinnamony. Pretty smooth. Um, like that. I also got some pumpkins in blueberry pumpkin patch and zucchini bread. This one's very nice. You know me and my zucchini bread. I love zucchini bread. It's very, very good. Oh, good. I got something under my nail. How very cute. I tell you what, you guys, <laughs> it's been a day. I've been wrapping all kinds of stuff. Anyway. Keeping busy. Okay, then I've got these little tulips in winter, which is the Bath and Body Works type. I really like the scent winter. I don't know what um, scent notes are in it, but it's like masculine, woodsy, I don't know, wintry. It's very nice. Happy to have that. Then these cute, cute little molds, and it's in Blueberry Muffin and Hazelnut Cafe. I'm going to take one out so you can see it. They're like mini wax melt pots or something. That's what it looks like. A little mini wax melter with the wax melting inside. Isn't that adorable? It smells so good. It's There is a chocolate note in here. I smell chocolate. I smell blueberry muffin. I smell the hazelnut. Oh, a cafe. That's, that's coffee, right? Hazelnut cafe. But I smell chocolate. Anyway, it's very nice. I really like that one. But how are you supposed to get yourself to cut that little shape? That is too, too cute. And it doesn't want to get back in the bag. Okay, I'll mess with that later. Then I got this big bag of ooey gooey butter cookie. Look at those. Those look like little wax melters too. This one's very, very nice. It smells like caramely butter cookie. Mmm. Okay, then I've got a little rose here in peppermint marshmallow cookie. This one smells like those Andre's mints, you know, those ones that Olive Garden gives you. Oh, so, so good. Then I got some pumpkins in vanilla pumpkin marshmallow and candy corn buttercream. Whoa there. I'm using the ring light, you guys, so excuse me. <laughs> I'm still trying to learn how to use this thing. All right, 
This smells like vanilla buttercream. And you can get that candy corn in the background there. It's nice. If you're a vanilla, a fan of vanilla and buttercream, you'll like that one. Then I got some more little pumpkins in Lunar Eclipse. This one smells perfumey, soapy, sweet. I don't know. Nice feminine clean scent. My daughter will really like that one. Then there is this little Halloween mini loaf in Very Bewitching Brew, which I'm going to take out to show you. It's so cute. Um, I don't celebrate Halloween personally, but my daughters enjoy Halloween. Okay, so this one is going to go to one of them, I'm sure, because it smells soapy and it's Halloween-y, and they're into both of that. Or both of my girls are into to soapy scents and Halloween-y. So, isn't that creative? I wonder how long it took to make that. And this, I can't pinpoint what kind of soap, but I've smelled this type, this scent before. Going back to my childhood, and I, I can't place it. It almost like it reminds me of one of those soaps on ropes. But the type of soap scent it is, is familiar from a long time ago, and I, I can't describe it. It doesn't smell like any soap on the market that I can think of. But anyway, really, really cute mini loaf. And last but not least, okay, so my first round filming this after I read the notes or, you know, the name of it is Captain Crunchberry Donut. I was like, oh no, because I'm not a big cereal blend fan, right? But then I smelled it and had to put my foot in my mouth. Oh man, this is my favorite one out of the whole bunch. It smells so good. I don't smell any Captain Crunch. I just smell the berry donut. But, oh, it's so good. And I got a big old bag of all kinds of shapes. I'm very, very happy about that. So, yeah, I'm really excited to try Simo Wax. I was really hoping to get some of the cute, cute shapes, like the washboards and the sheet. I mean, I, I don't even know who owns it. Is it a female? I don't even know. Anyway, whoever owns it, they have the cutest, cutest shapes ever. I love their shapes. So... Anyway, I'm excited to try the wax. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.